Hi there, I wanted to talk about a horror film on Netflix that I recently saw called Blood Red Sky. Blood Red Sky is a horror film uh, that I just saw on Netflix. I had no previous real knowledge of it, just flashed upon my um, list as something recommended to watch, so I thought I'd give it a try. Turned out it's German, but it's got a very good English dub, and also it seems to be a sort of co-production, so a lot of the actors are English, speaking English, and therefore you've only got part of the story um, where you've got actors that are German being dubbed in English. So, and, and you don't really notice because it's very fast moving, it's not as if there's lots of long dramatic scenes with um, people's voices not matching up, so not an issue at all. It follows a plane that gets hijacked and there's a woman on it with her son, she's not very ill, it appears she's got some sort of wasting disorder, she's trying to get to a treatment um, in America and everything seems to go wrong. There are twists in this and revelations that, to be honest, I'm going to spoil now because you can't really talk about the film without spoiling it, so sorry for that. But what it turns out is she's a vampire, she's trying to fight her vampirism by injecting herself with some sort of suppressant. She gets shot by one of the terrorists and left for dead, and this results in her not being near her medicine, having to drink blood, and as the film goes on she becomes more and more vampiric. vampiric. Uh, and this helps her fight the terrorists, um, or the hijackers rather, they um, find that some of the hijackers are more unstable than others, and you have a sort of a vampire outbreak occurring on the plane. That's a very, very brief overview of it. This film's about two hours long, probably about 20 minutes too long, um, but it's enjoyable, it's fun, it's very violent, very gory. It's got that thing where, a bit like Dust Till Dawn, the first half of the film is a very good hijack um, movie, and then the second half devolves into a vampire movie. But it still retains the hijack elements to it. I would say if you're a horror fan and you want something that is violent, um, gory and just a different take on things definitely give this a watch i put it on a saturday night with no expect expectations and i was very happily surprised it does feel very televisual at times so it's not the kind of film you would think you would sit in the cinema and watch but it's certainly a change from sort of happy shiny vampires the vampire she turns into is very much more a 30 days of night vampire uh, and there's nice little clever touches with how she's changing and the way her body's um sort of morphing into this vampire as well. It's like a slow change. Uh, check it out, let me know what you think about it and thanks for watching.